Uh, hello, this is my, uh, Clown Blade deck profile today. Now, a little backstory on this deck. It was, uh, created, uh, a while ago in the OCG version of, of the Yu-Gi-Oh card game with these two specific cards. Farm Age Trick Clown and Heroic Challenger Thousand Blades. Now, these two work together surprisingly well. And these two kind of created this deck. Now, I'm not sure if this is the... Well, this is my take on the Clown Blade deck. So, first up, we've got... First part of the combo, uh, Perform Age Trick Clown. Now, if you want to know what it does, uh, check out my Perform Age deck profile. Uh, it, I'll tell you about it in that video. Uh, next up, we've got Heroic Challenger Thousand Blades. Once per turn, if this card is in attack position, you can discard one Heroic card. Uh, that, that effect isn't really important in this deck. The effect that is important in this one is, when you take damage while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card in attack position. That's the important part. Now, the reason why it combos with Trick Clown very well is, this card is sent to your graveyard, you can target one Perform Mage monster in your graveyard, special summon it, and its attack, de becomes, its attack and defense becomes zero. Then you took a thousand damage. Now, since you're taking damage, and as long as thousand blades is in the graveyard, you can special summon him and a four mage monster, even this guy itself, from the graveyard, which is pretty fun to do. And what started the whole clown blade thing. Three... Perform Age Hat Tracker, just another Perform Age that I decided to throw into this deck. Well, I'll have what it does in my Perform Age deck profile once again. Pretty much every Perform Age in this deck I'll have fully described in my Perform Age deck profile. Now, Perform Age Damage Juggler, that's another one that I decided to put in here. Two Summoner Monk. Three Goblinberg. Goblinberg, I think is how you say it, or Goblindenberg, one or the other. Two Gigabyte. And two Nefarious Archfiend Eater of Nefariousness. That's all for the monsters. Uh, time for the spell cards. Uh, three upstart goblins. Two reinforcement of the army. I know reinforcement of the army is at three. Unfortunately, I've only got two on me for the moment. So, yeah. If I had a third one, I would probably use it. Two Dark Hole. Two Wonder Wand. And two Mystical Space Typhoon. That's it for the spells. One of the traps. Two Mirror Force. One Compulsory Evacuation Device. Two dimensional prison. One bottomless trap hole. Two call of the haunted. And one solemn warning. 
under the extra deck, we've got one Perform Age Trick uh, Trapeze Magician, one Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon, one Gagaga -ga -ga Cowboy, one Gagaga -ga -ga Samurai, one King of the Feral Imps, one Abyss Dweller, one Maestroke the Symphony Jin, Photon Pelper Operative, Heroic Champion Excalibur, Blade Armor Ninja, one number 39 Utopia, one number 50 Black Ship of Corn, and one number 80 Rhapsody and Berserk. Yeah, I think this deck is pretty much gonna. is definitely one of my uh, more competitive ones. And I'll probably be using this deck from now on in a anything competitive that I enter.